Well, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining our press pass. Um, I'm super excited for this session, of course, uh, for myself because the knockouts have such a historic match that that is going to be part of Hard to Kill pay per view this Saturday. And so we might as well just begin. Um, I had a few questions, but I don't want to take other people's questions. So I'm going to start introducing our panelists today. And that's going to be first, Tasha Steeles, our former two-time knockout tag team world champion. Welcome to Press Pass, Tasha. Well, thank you, Gail. Thank you for having me. All this flavor is already needed. Yeah. Are you excited for this? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited. Nervous, excited, but you know. It, it, it ain't history if it ain't no flavor in it. Exactly. You got it. And next, we have our former knockout world champion, Chelsea Green, new bride, new bride to be, or no, not to be. You are a new bride. So I'm a new bride. Gail, wedding season is over. It is, it is ultimate X season, baby. <laughs> now you've got the big personal thing out of the way. Now you can focus on business. That's exactly what Matt and I both said. You know, he has um, a title match and I obviously have this ultimate X match, which is number one contender match. Um, we are both just ready to move into 2022 on a really high note. We yeah. are married and now we're ready to hold the titles. I want to be a two-time knockout champion. I mean, I'm sure you do. And I think this would be such a huge night for both of you guys. If you can keep on that role, you had nothing bad happen at the wedding, right? So we can stay on that good role, hopefully. Exactly. Let's let's just leave the weddings in the past now, especially the one at Impact Wrestling a couple of years ago. Let's leave that one in the past as well. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, our former tag team champion and former knockout world champion, Rosemary. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And don't forget, Gail, we did relieve Tasha of those tag team titles as well. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, the <laughs> net, it wasn't my fault. It oh, wasn't okay. my fault. Why? We'll relieve so you of this opportunity at Ultimate X while we're at it. Don't don't start sure. don't don't start with me, with you two. All right, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm super excited, guys. I have one question that maybe someone else would want to ask, but besides your match, because obviously it's a historic match, what match? Because this card is, I'm, I'm blown away by this card, this lineup. What match are you guys most looking forward to? Um, well, I mean, it would be crazy if I didn't say that I'm excited for my now husband's match versus um, Moose and Morrissey. I mean, that's obviously one of the top matches I want to see because I want to see him walk away with that world heavyweight title. Is that what we call it? I don't even know because it's got, like, it's got like 1 million names in front of it. Um, but really, I, I mean, I think that the whole world is tuning in to watch Mickey James versus Diana Prazo, right? I mean, I think every, all of us girls are going to be watching to see what happens because that's the whole reason we are having this ultimate X match is to see who we are going to be challenging for that title. Exactly. So Tasha, who are you looking forward to seeing on this card? Well, well, obviously the Mickey James versus Diana Perazzo match. I mean, I need to see who I'm going to be facing after this You're ultimate gonna, oh, match, and I want oh, okay. calm, calm down, calm down. Oh, you talk, right. you talk. <laughs> I want to see who I'm going to be facing after this, uh, this match here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's it's going to be such so bittersweet for me. I mean, if Diana comes out as the winner and the new three time knockout champion, there's a story there. If Mickey James retains, she's going to be uh dealing with the Boricua badass for the first time. So we'll see. We'll see yeah, who wins. I'm your right. And Rosemary? It's ridiculous, like they both said, to say that we're not looking forward to Deanna and Mickey to see who is the champion at the end of this. But we'll throw out Josh Alexander versus Jonah because when Josh is angry, bad things happen to whoever's in the ring with him. <laughs> I agree. And he's been beaten up quite a bit. So he's probably mm -hmm. have, has all these pent up emotions right now, as we all know. Okay. So we're going to start and our first media outlet is going to be from the Miami Herald. We're going to have Jim on the line, Jim. 
Okay. Hey, can everyone hear me okay? We can hear you. Hi, You're good, Jim. Hey, first of all, congratulations to everyone and what you all are doing and how things are going and, and coming into this match. And I'll just try to get through this very quickly. But first of all, Gail, I just wanted to know, hate talking about COVID, but I got to talk about it. Just yeah. what everything's going on right now. Are, is there anything in place to keep everybody sort of quarantine yeah. or in curfew? And is there, without giving anything away, are there alternative plans, God forbid, if, if someone has to be replaced? Good question. Uh, I was, <laughs> don't jinx us. Don't jinx us. I, I don't what want to jinx on? you, but I, want, I have to know. I didn't mention any names. <laughs> Um, we of course have COVID procedures in place. Um, this this strain is kind of a little bit different, I guess, because even if you are vaccinated, it's highly contagious. So we are putting our best measures in place. And of course, you know, I think all the girls know with any wrestling show, whether it's been a year ago, two years ago, pre-COVID, there's always something happening last minute and where we need to adjust. So I think we're used to these cases. Um, I just hope that all the competitors stay safe this weekend. In the next two to three days, let's uh, just put it out there in the universe that everyone stays healthy and safe. So and yeah. just for, thank you. Thank you, Gail. And then for the three here that are competing in this historic match, what does it mean to you to compete in this impact wrestling, the history being made, and you're all part of it? Everything. <laughs> quite frankly go ahead rosemary <laughs> this is we've said before in an interview this is something we've been campaigning for since the end of 2016 um chelsea was there at the time so she knows we we're very adamant about it that uh that girls should be given the chance to do everything that the guys had in, in um in TNA then and now Impact Wrestling and Ultimate X being a very specific TNA uh, Impact Wrestling centric match that nobody else does anything like this, that this is really, there are very few firsts left in, um, in this business. This is one of them. And this is an Impact specific first because Ultimate X is ours and the knockouts get to be involved now. I, I, I couldn't agree more, Rosemary. And I also just think, you know, I, you have to give it to impact mm -hmm. that truly impact might be one of the only companies. How do I say this without making a lot of people mad, but they, they really do put their knockouts on the same pedestal that the men are on. Mm -hmm. And we've always done that, you know, back in the day it, when I first came to impact, I mean, I didn't even think twice about the fact that I main evented a, a, a an impact show. You know, I didn't, I didn't boast about it or brag about it. I didn't even think about it. And that was something I thought about today. Like, man, they were having women main event way back then. And we, and we didn't think for two seconds, not only that, but the men have been wrestling the women for years. And we, again, have not put it out there like uh, we should be praised. This is just something that we've done and we've always been equal to the men. And this to me is that last step that we needed to take. Um, and, and it's, I think the perfect time to be doing that going into the new year, starting the new year off right. Um, and, and now really truly impact is the best company in the world for women. I definitely agree. I agree with both ladies. I mean, they said it well best, you know, there's nothing else that I could say for that, but you know, um, going into the ultimate X match, I love making history 2021. Uh, my former partner, Kara and I, we made history. So I don't, I don't mind doing it again. You'll Thanks. fit it well, in your schedule. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all so much. And Chelsea, as I wrap up, I have to ask, okay. So who has the second best beard? <laughs> ah, no comment no comment <laughs> thank you jim thanks, thanks everybody okay guys next we're gonna have michael from lucha libre online michael are you there yes i'm here how is everyone doing hi michael good thank you thank you very much for everyone's time uh i want to talk about first of all Congratulations, to Mrs. Cardona, uh, on getting married. Congratulations to Chelsea and everyone. Uh, there's a lot of different 
knockouts on different women inside Impact Wrestling at this moment. Chelsea is Canadian. Uh, Tasha is a favoritua. Uh, Rosemary is a demon. Uh, how important for your respective ethnics and cultural backgrounds is having this match for the first time? You want to go ahead, Tasha? Let's go with Tasha first. Um, I think it means a lot, especially to, uh, you know, us Boricuas. We, if you noticed over the years in wrestling, you know, Puerto Ricans, I mean, if you, if you mention Puerto Ricans in wrestling, the first person that's going to come to your mind is the Colognes or, or Savio Vega. And it, for a long time in between, it hasn't really been too many representation of, of Puerto Ricans in wrestling. Um, so with going into the 2000s and, you know, 2022, having somebody like Homicide and Amazing Red and Santana Ortiz and, and, and myself and Mercedes Martinez, who's a 20 year vet. I mean, it, a lot of us, we're, we're just coming out more and, and we're doing a lot more and we're changing the game and um, uh, just being more recognized out here. And I'm excited, you know, for, for myself and, and for my culture being in this ultimate X match. I'm going to channel my inner amazing red in this match, you know, because with Homicide, he was a little, you know, climbing the, 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 the X thing there. He was a little sketchy there. So um, <laughs> I'm going a, I'm to a channel my inner amazing red because this We're guy telling. can do it all. So, and, um, so I'm, I'm excited and I can't wait. And like I said, I'm going to come out there the ultimate knockout. So I can't wait for that. Representing PR, yeah. <laughs> okay, Chelsea. I, we have two Canadians left, actually. Yeah, I mean, I am. I'm always proud to be representing Canada. Um, it is very hard to watch wrestling in Canada, and people don't realize that. So when I'm able to do something that kind of um, garners international attention, that that's huge. Um, and and to have the Canadian flag um you know on my social media representing me reminding people it's it's a big deal for me and um i know that my family and all my friends in canada are are going to be watching me and supporting me and um they're very proud of like all of us canadians who are able to make an impact in this wrestling world so we're very excited for this and also i just think anyways um representation in in wrestling is huge so to now have a match where we are represented um not only in our individual cultures and ethnicities but also just as a group of very very powerful females it's it's a big deal definitely is rosemary to look on the side perhaps of dark creatures a lot of times in professional wrestling will be lumped together um not to say that we don't enjoy going to war with with uh, with those kind of creatures like us, but to be given the opportunity to branch out into something that was reserved for the X Division and alongside these other uh, knockouts, these other very strong females, and to be given a chance for a Rosemary, the demon assassin, someone a bit more known for off the wall and, uh, and hardcore matches and the dark realm. Um, we are being included in this and a lot of times you won't see that you would see uh those of us who wear face paint to go into battle to be stuck with others like that we're being given a chance to being thrown in with um with all types of different competitors and that's nice to see we're not being typecasted yes i feel like we're back at the time of um you know there's just so many different female even wrestlers in general where you know the fans can look at someone and be like I really identify with that person and you know there's different types of ladies there that you can gravitate towards and relate to so thanks Michael really thanks, appreciate thanks to all of you have Your a question? great day Thanks. Uh, just a reminder to the media outlets if you want to ask a question please raise your hand through the zoom app uh, and that's probably the Best way possible. So I want to go down the card and just uh, remind everyone about the matches that have been announced for this for Hard to Kill because it's a super. Uh, for me, I think it's one of the li best lineups we've had in a really, really long time. So um, you know we're gonna have the X Division match, which is Trey Miguel versus Steve Macklin, which has been building up for so long now. I'm really excited. I actually never expected Steve to turn out 
to be such a great fit for the next division. Oh, he's been and a bulldozer then, thus far. Oh, he is. And <laughs> this one was just recently announced that I am, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it, is the ROH world title match between Jonathan Gresham and Chris Saban. I never knew I wanted this dream match until I heard it. So Me I'm too. Yeah, I I think, I'm excited for that. Sold out yeah. monitor backstage. Yeah, we're all, <laughs> definitely, we're all going to be around it. Yes. And don't forget, we do, not only do we have the historic first Ultimate X match for the knockouts, and we have the Texas death match for the first time for the ladies, but we have a third knockouts match, which is going to be the inspiration versus the influence for the knockout tag team titles. So that's going to be exciting. I mean, three knockouts matches, guys. Uh, the world title match, which is Moose versus your new groom, Matt Cardona versus William Morrissey. And so I'm really excited to see this. Uh, three great, I mean, they're all of them are big men, big wrestlers, we'll say so, but super talented. So I'm really looking forward to see if Matt will walk away a world champion again. Uh, we're going to have the Hardcore War, which is the Good Brothers and Violin by Design versus Rich Swan, Willie Mack. Keith, Rhino, and Eddie Edwards. So that's going to be a good one as well. And then, of Someone course, might die. Which, yeah. And then the <laughs> somebody's match. definitely that's dying. <laughs> talking about right now, the big one also, the grudge match that I'm really looking forward to is Josh Alexander versus Jonah. So, you know, I think we were all kind of feeling some sympathy for Josh right after Moose cashed in his title shot. And so, uh, yeah, Damn he's just kind of been on the brunt of things lately. So I'm, I'm excited to see uh, Josh come out on top. Let's, let's hope anyways, right? Okay, so next, let's see. We just went, we're gonna have Chris from my wrestling podcast. Is that who we have next, Chris? Hello, hello ladies. Thank you very much for having me. Right. Absolute pleasure. Really appreciate the opportunity. Um, so my question goes to, to all three ladies. Obviously, the Ultimate X match is is known for big bumps, for high spots, for dangerous wrestling, let's say, um, akin to a ladder match or a TLC match. How do you go about preparing for a match like this? Because obviously, it's not something that you do every week. So do you feel any pressure to go out there and, and put on the best possible match? How do you get in that mind frame knowing that you're going to go through probably more pain than you're used to going through on a normal sort of like weekly show? Um, In... I'm just going to quickly say this. I feel like we're prepared exactly like the men are. We've been, we've been training our entire careers for things like this. And a lot of times um, there is this hilarious stigma that women can't last as long in this business as men can. And honestly, it's BS. We'll last as long as we want. And Gail Kim is sitting right here and is a testament to that. Um, we can take these same bumps that men can. We can wrestle for just as long as the men can. Uh, we just choose whether we want to or not. And now is our time and we are choosing, we're choosing to do it. You know what I mean? So I don't know about these women, um, but I think I can speak for everyone when I say we were um, born ready to do this the way that we were born ready to wrestle. So you didn't have a problem planning, getting married and preparing for this. <laughs> getting married, doing my <laughs> bikini photo shoots and being you know, part of the ultimate X. Honestly, like this is where we thrive as women is multitasking. <laughs> getting tested. Okay, Rosemary. There's a reason that we chose a female meat suit when we came into this realm, and that is the incredible resilience that you human females have. And that was one thing that we've learned, and we'll go into this match the exact same way that we go into a monster's ball or a full metal mayhem or any of the other ridiculous things that we do to ourselves. And that is, we're not going to think about it. <laughs> we're going to go in and throw our body at wherever we have to do to get that victory, because we'll worry about it after, quite frankly. <laughs> That is a very honest answer. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't be the Boricua badass if I didn't get into matches such as this. So um, preparing, uh, I've always stay ahead of the curve and prepare for anything. Uh, preparedness meets opportunity. Um, so I'm ready. We're ready, Chris. Saturday, Saturday. 
I knew you would be. I knew you would be. I'm, I'm excited for it. I know you are all going to kill it. You three and your three opponents as well. I'm really excited. Best of luck to all of you involved. Um, yeah, all the best. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Thank it. you. Chris. Okay, next, we just finished with Chris. We have another Chris from Sports Kita. But I just wanted to uh, let everyone know the media outlets and the ladies right now. We're moving, we're falling a little behind because there's a lot of us on. So we're going to just maybe have one or two of you answer each question so that we can fit in all the media outlets as best as possible. So let's go to Chris from Sports Kita. Is that right? Oh, after Chris, it's Riju. Riju. I pronounced that right? You're on mute, Rishu. Can you put? Can you take yourself off mute? Perfect. Am I audible now? Yeah. Can you yes. hear me? Yes. I can hear all of you. Thank you so much for your time, uh, all of you. Uh, so uh, I mean, congratulations to all of you ladies on such a historic achievement, and congrats to uh, Chelsea as well. Uh, I mean, on the wedding. But uh, now that this is wedding season, is there a chance that uh, you know the hot mess comes back for a run? <laughs> oh well here's the thing i don't choose when the hot mess comes out she chooses so um yeah i wouldn't i you know she's tucked away but um who knows maybe maybe she'll poke her head out at some point we could probably lure her out if you yeah. give us a chance I, you know if there's oh, anyone Lord. who knows how to lure her, her out it is absolutely rosemary <laughs> well i'm not gonna lie i kind of missed the hot mess too <laughs> Don't we all? Yes. Rishu? Yeah, you guys had the hottest feud in India when you guys came down. Rosemary and the hot mess. You guys had a killer feud. So yeah, we all miss. Uh, we have you. many great I memories love you guys. on trip. India was the best crowd ever. And we all had such a good time, even though we had to um, beat each other up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rishu. We appreciate you so your question. Thank you. OK, next we have Dane from Hooked on Wrestling. Dane, are you there? I am. Um, hello. Uh, thank you all for taking the time out. It's nice to be speaking with you. Um, so in the lead up to Hard to Kill and with this kind of high stakes match, I wanted to kind of go back to all of your roots as, uh, as professional wrestlers. And Gail, feel free to, to come in as well. But with wrestling being a combination of so many different variables like uh, physicality and storytelling, character, theatrics, what element of it appealed appealed to um, to all of you the most? Would you say when you were growing up watching it? Tasha, I would say the stories and 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 the the promos. Mm -hmm. um, I love a good story. Um, I, I I I'm all about like psychology and you know training as a wrestler. That was like one of our main things to to train on first was learning the business and psychology and everything like that so I love a good storytelling I love psychology I love someone that can really talk on a microphone and not be afraid to say things and and get a reaction of the crowd and stuff like that hey Chelsea shut your dogs up shut them up I'm talking shut them up I love I love when just someone that can talk like the skills at the end of the day uh you know anybody can learn it but it's everything else uh outside of that that I love learning before just actually getting the physicality part of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think definitely, uh, I think, I mean, I'm 44, but when, <laughs> when I started watching wrestling, you no, know, it really was about the storylines and the characters that really sucked it in. It sucked me in, but then I fell in love with the sport of it. And mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, I think we all kind of were drawn to that whole care. I mean, Rosemary, you can speak to characters. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare I? This I love her. I love everything about your character. Well, I'm looking forward to watching you. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Dean. Thanks, Dean. Thank you. Thanks, Dean. And next we have Dean. We've had some back-to-back -back similar names here. Dean from Body Slams and Drop Kicks. Happy New Year, ladies. Chelsea, in your case, a happier New Year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, then. Uh, this is the weekend of, obviously, the very first knockout Ultimate X match. I, myself, long for the day where I hear announced on uh, social or on Impact itself. The very first knockout's lethal lockdown match. We've now, had one. We've have you had one? I've been a part of it, yes. Have oh, you been a part of it? Oh, all right, then, in that case. In England. England. I'm well, actually in very, very proud of that match, so. Would you yeah. like a, in that case, Gail, thanks for correcting me, would you like another one? Yes. 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 Go ahead and ask <laughs> 
bring it. And uh, there is actually a two-part question as well. Okay, go ahead. All right, who would you who would you three ladies rather face out of uh, Virtuosa, Diana Perazzo, or Hardcore Country, Mickey James? Okay, let's Rosemary. Why don't you ask that question? Answer that question. <sighs> Oh, we never like to choose because we just want to fight everybody. But if you're forcing us, uh-huh. it's so difficult because we've never faced Mickey James one on one, but we've also faced Gianna Perazzo twice and she's bested us twice. So it might be <laughs> that much sweeter to finally beat Gianna Perazzo. <laughs> and then we'll beat up Mickey James. That's very fair. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually curious to hear Chelsea's answer quickly on this one. <laughs> I want to. Take on Mickey with Diana in my corner. <laughs> They're kind of besties. Yeah. <laughs> but I think when it comes down to business, though, you're going to have to. If it came down to business, I want to win, period. Yes, exactly. There you go. Good answer. <laughs> okay, next we have. Thank you, Dean. We really thank appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks, Dean. Next, the bane to my existence, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sean. Everyone already knows. That's Sean Ross. Sean Ross. Sean Ross. Here we go. Gail's <laughs> opponent in lethal lockdown. Yes. Mm. I not mind Whoa. that at all. <laughs> Gail, we'll all be on. in your corner. Right. Come on. I, I said nice things about you, Gail. <laughs> yeah. What was your ulterior motive, though? <laughs> Just being nice. That's all. That's I'm, I'm a great person. Okay, I'll accept that. Go ahead. So uh, this weekend's obviously a historic moment for the knockouts division. Are there any other unique match types that maybe you guys haven't participated in in the past that you all would like to see put forth? Even even you, Gail, because you were a part of a lot of firsts in the knockout division as well. Right. Um. I mean, who would like to answer this question? Actually, I I, I want that knockout <laughs> lockdown to come back. I want to yeah. Everyone can answer in. really quickly. Let's keep them compact, but I want everyone to answer that question. Yeah. Tasha? I, I want the knockouts lockdown to come back. Like, put me, I haven't been in a, a, a cage match, so. Oh, you know, okay. Never been. So, right. yeah. Kelsey? Oh, yeah. Lock I, me away I, with you, Rosemary. Right. <laughs> uh, sort of like gimmick match. So, I guess I would like to do a TLC match, mm-hmm. but really, I'll take. I'll take anything at this point. Any sort of weapon would be great. (laughs) (laughs) And Rosemary? Shockingly, out of all the things we have done, we've never done a ladder match. So we'll join you in that TLC if you like. (laughs) Okay. I've done every gimmick match under the sun. (laughs) From from things I didn't enjoy, from bra and panties matches to ladders and cages and everything but i haven't had which i don't really desire but i'll say what i haven't done which is um an iron man match so iron woman match so that's well gail thank you all so much come out of retirement on no (laughs) thank you thank you thank you thank you next we have george from what do you call it podcast hello everyone i'm on right just to double check you are. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So make, make an ask myself a moment. Do apologize. I uh, hope you're all doing well. It's uh, good to be on here. So as we're coming into the first ever Knockouts Ultimate X match, I just want to ask, is there, as preparation for your match, is there any matches that you all have as a favourite? Um, if so, what is your favourite? A favourite type of match that they've had? Um, Ultimate X. An Ultimate oh, X okay. match in the oh. past. Oh, okay. You're saying I, I didn't. I didn't ask very well. Do apologize. Okay, sorry. So you're asking which ones they've seen that they want? Yeah. To so like? basically, yeah. going back to the past, what have been some of their favorite Ultimate X matches, and if they have watched any to prepare themselves for the upcoming right. match that they all have. So our favorite Ultimate X. Yeah. yeah. One of our first even exposures to early TNA was an Ultimate X match with um, AJ, Chris Sabin, and Petey Williams at um, Final Resolution 05. Um, probably one of the best matches we've ever seen. And that's what got us hooked on the product in the first place. And we've watched it many, many, many times. Uh, we actually have best of the X division volume one and two. <laughs> <laughs> well plug there. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, have you guys watched many matches or any? I mean, particular? I feel like I've been um, backstage and watched so many live and every single one blows me away. And mm-hmm. also just when I think that they couldn't do anything crazier, these men pull things out that I couldn't have even dreamed that they would have thought of. 
Um, so hopefully we give people like a little, a little taste of that as well. Okay. So Tasha, yeah, I don't, I don't have a favorite, but I've watched so many that all these guys, they put their bodies on the line. It's like, how can you have a favorite? You know, they go out mm -hmm. there and, and they give their all every single time. So I like them all because each, each ultimate X match comes with different, different flavors. So yeah. They really um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Good luck, ladies. Thanks, Thank George. You. Appreciate it. Next, we have James from Primetime Conversations. James. Hi, Gail. Hi. How are you doing? How are you? Good, thanks. Uh, hi, ladies. Uh, question for all three of you, but mainly directed towards uh, Rosemary. Uh, Rosemary, you've been involved in various matches, such as Monsters Ball and Delete and Decay even, and all these different types of matches. So do you feel like Heading into the ladder match, this could, uh, Ultimate X match, sorry. Do you feel like this could be giving you uh, advantage? And towards Chelsea and Tasha, what are you going to do to uh, combat this? Yes, absolutely. We've uh, we've we put our body in uh, several dangerous and painful positions <laughs> throughout our you career. Like We're not um, treating this any differently. As far as we know, Ultimate X is also no disqualification. So perhaps we'll open our toy box for this one as well. Look at the ladies. Um, but yes, and all, all that we're seeing is a hardcore match with a 3D element added. Because now we can go up and attack from the skies as well as the level playing field. So we're definitely taking all of our monster ball and our full metal mayhem and all of our experience that way and bringing it into this. I like how the girls were smiling in reaction <laughs> to all this. <laughs> <laughs> great uh do you guys have i any mean i guess i guess we just all, all of all, the rest of us who have not been involved in 101 matches the way <laughs> rosemary has um yeah. i'm just to keep my eyes peeled and i'm not underestimating anyone great thank you james we really appreciate your question so next we're gonna go a little bit more female. <laughs> Stephanie from Steel Chair is next. And yeah, you're our first female media outlet right now. So shoot away. Tasha, maybe we can ask Tasha a question next. Oh, hello, ladies. Make it good, Stephanie. Hi. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, how are you? Oh, good. Uh, happy New Year. In France, we can yeah. say it all the months. So for me, I can say it uh, to all of you and wishing you the best to each and every one of you. Um, Diana Parazzo was um, stating um, the, forbi the forbidden door was very something that was male. Um, many men came, but not that many women. Uh, we know that she is targeting Roxy. Um, Roxy and the ROH belt. Uh, if you could make a woman uh, from any company come to, to impact uh, and open the forbidden door, why not for uh, uh, a belt? Uh, who would it be? Tasha? And uh, Gail, I have a question too. If you could be in the Ultimate X match, would you? Oh, of course, if I was healthy, <laughs> I'd be the first one begging for it. Yes, 100%, 100%. <laughs> Tasha, Forbidden Door question, who would you want? Oh, I love a good Forbidden Door question. I think I've been trying to get through this Forbidden Door. You know, they've been trying to lock the door on me, but they know I'm from the street. <laughs> so I, I pick locks, I break windows. So I've been trying They're to get through this you. Forbidden Door for a long time, you know? Um, yeah. Currently, I, I want the best. I want the absolute best. So um, if somebody can call that doctor, Chelsea, isn't that your friend? Call the doctor, tell her to come through. You know what I'm saying? Because the body go badass got some words for her. So yeah, go get Britt Baker it. and uh, bring it. her to Impact. And I'll introduce her a little bit. Nice. Anybody else have a forbidden door? I would love to get my hands on cute little bunny Allie once again. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bring back past i like that yeah. especially this naughty new little dark yeah, one yes. yeah yeah rosemary yes. i think it's your fault rosemary it's your fault it could be we'll take you know, we'll take, you know, you know what had anybody we'll along with that line of thought chelsea and we'll beat up this new bunny's little friend penelope oh, um, okay yes. all right so i think we're all kind of looking towards aew <laughs> pretty right? much thank you so much appreciate your question stephanie hey. 
Okay, next we're gonna have, wait, are we, we're sticking with the females. We're gonna have Katrina next from Women's Wrestling Talk. Katrina, welcome. Hi to ladies, thank you so Hello. much for having me on. I hope all is well. Um, so my question for all of you is like, one of the things I appreciate about the knockouts division is how you guys were kind of the pioneers of showcasing how amazing women wrestlers are and showing that the women can kind of step into the ring and do what men do. So what are you guys looking forward to bring into this ultimate X match since this is like a historical thing for impact? Ooh, who wants to answer that question? Um, gosh, that's hard because I really think that um, we're going into this like we would any other match, hoping to come out on top to then, you know, have a shot at the championship. Um, but I think in the back of, of everyone's mind is just the fact that we want to show the world like we always have that we can hang with the guys and anything boys can do, girls can do better. I feel like it's a never ending challenge for us ladies, even though women's wrestling has come so far in the last, you know, 10, 15 years. Um, it's a, con do you guys all agree? It's a, for me as well, even as a producer, it's a constant battle of proving that we're just as good as the guys, if not better. It is. And it's yeah, also it's funny because I never want anyone to think that there have been men in my, on, on this journey that have, that have made it, that planted that seed because there have been so many that have told me, oh no, you like, you know, you are just as good and you can main event and things like that. But as females, um, we'll always want to, you know, prove everyone wrong and also, um, you know, be better than the boys. That's just how we work genetically. Yeah. I think we put that pressure on ourselves, to be honest. Well, I want to say that uh, I'm bringing all the flavor to this match because I said it before and I said it again, it ain't history if it ain't no flavor in it. Oh, oh Tasha's ready. She's going in confident. I like that. Thanks, Katrina. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. We're going to have Caesar next from Wrestling Sport. Are you yeah. there? Good evening. Uh, it's, a nice, it's nice to be here with all of you. Uh, my question is for all of you. Uh, do you, you're, you're going to be in a in amazing and a brutal match like the Ultimate X, specifically in, a, in the first ever knockout Ultimate X. And my question is, uh, do you have any inspirational wrestler uh, in, in the Impact history that make you uh, motivate you, uh, for example, uh, AJ Styles or Chris Sabine, that is a very, uh, big example of be, um, to be here in this, in this kind of, uh, of match. Well, you if you watch Wrestle House, you'll know that Chris Sabin is an honorary member of Decay. <laughs> so <laughs> we will be channeling his energies. Not Hot Boy Sabin. Yeah. <laughs> hot Boy Sabin. Not Hot Boy Sabin. No. I mean, that is, has anyone reached out to Saban. He pretty much is probably, is there anyone else who has had as he's many had more? The, our company? No, I think there? he's been in the most. He's been in like, like all uh, of them. Except he's maybe been one. like all of them, yeah. So maybe the person who <laughs> reached most. out to him will have the advantage. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw him do a video with Jordan that he was training Jordan, so um, I got well, a with favorites. That. Yeah, oh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You know, Jordan is um, probably a good favorite, I would think. She ah. might, oh, she, tell us how you really feel, Gail. Like, ah. how many yeah, right? Like, our, this how is many pull -ups does she do? Have you guys been practicing your pull ups? Okay, but also, <laughs> let's uh, talk about Gail. Let's talk about Lady Frost because people don't know Lady Frost's background. But Lady Frost, I'm telling you, she'll be able to dangle from those ropes for an hour. Well, she can dangle all she wants to. It's not like she's going to win. <laughs> I didn't say she was going to win. I just said she could dangle. I only need to get up there once. So have I. Wait, thank you, Caesar. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry, Caesar. Forgot you were here. <laughs> Bye. Caesar, look what you no started. You. Next, we have Sam from Near Falls Media. Hello, all. Um, I have a quick question. Um, Hard to Kill is being promoted with a lot of adverts showing some of the lowest moments in Impact Wrestlers' careers, some really difficult injuries, things like that. 
Is there a particular moment from any of your careers, a particularly challenging moment that you're using as inspiration going into this first Ultimate X Max match for the knockouts? Almost got through that sentence. <laughs> um, I mean, I have broken my arm more times than anyone in the whole world. So <laughs> the fact that I am able to even <laughs> climb up the structure and hang on with my one little arm, um, that for me is all the inspiration I need. <laughs> Rosemary we don't often share personal things but we are at our lowest weight right now since blowing our knee out two years ago <laughs> so this has been a very motivating thing to work towards and getting back to being the destructive um, high peak performing level of fitness that we wanted to be at that we were at before we got hurt and we finally feel like we are there and with perfect time too because this is exactly when we need it tasha do you have any well, i don't remember i i i you know i like to uh get in get out don't really get too hurt too much <laughs> you know i save my body a lot um i haven't had any uh knock on wood that i got in my house any major injuries thank god for that um so yeah, let's not jinx me here. Let's not yeah. let's not do that. <laughs> you know, I think the main thing is we all know that injuries are kind of part of our business or a big high risk in our business. And we just power through and somehow, you know, we're always telling ourselves to no sell it and just be tough and make it through. Thank you, Finish Sam. The match. Thank yeah. you all. Best of luck this Saturday. Thanks, Thank Sam. You. Thank you. Next, we have Craig from One Stop Wrestling. Are you certain? That looks like Matt Hardy on the screen. Greg, Matt, are you there? Yeah. Dark wizard, we remember him. <laughs> okay, maybe we don't have Craig just yet. Oh, do we have Craig? Uh, let's go to Misery Eater. We all know him. Cody? One of our biggest supporters. Mm -hmm. Hello. Long time Hello. Impact Hello. Faithful. Yes. How's all you, how are you ladies all doing today? Hello. Good. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing fine. Doing pretty good. Excited for this weekend. Um, I just have a few random questions. One for Gail, one for Chelsea, and one for Rosemary. Okay. Rosemary, how, how does it feel, feel that now knowing that your dream in your first run with, with your first, I want to say, interview with Impact, you're now getting their dream match that you wanted? <laughs> well and now we've just been encouraged and now we can figure out how to get whatever we want <laughs> what else can we ask for <laughs> eventually manifested into reality <laughs> um chelsea how um i think you already answered this from someone else but is your risk going to play any factor for this um i'm gonna hope not but i definitely have been taking extra measures to make sure that when i get into that match that I'm the strongest that I've ever been. So fingers crossed. All right. And Gail, um, uh, about in 2020, there was a rumor going that the knockouts would get their own show. Is there anything furtherly going on with that? Because I know Maria's rumored to, to show up. Um, Mickey James, Gail Kim, Madison, there's heads of wrestling minds that can build a knockout show. Is there former plans for that? You know, if the demand happens to happen, um, I think that, you know, fans are the ones that are going to speak for what they want. That conversation has been brought up. Um, I mean, we have about 20 girls right now, so it's not like, I don't think, and the girls are completely capable, in my mind, of carrying their own show. Um, I think it's just more about demand, right, in terms of fans and them speaking up, so we would... Uh, Love to see that in the near future. Feel free to tweet. <laughs> yes. Give us our own. Favorite. I do all the time. Exactly. So Tasha, um, I'm Tasha. not encouraging you. <laughs> okay. Um, have you talked with Kira Hogan lately? And Who? is there any Kira Hogan? <laughs> Who, how, who is that? <laughs> who is that? I, don't, I guess no one wants to talk to her after their <laughs> last meeting. Have I spoken to Kira Hogan? I sent her to the realm. Won't you ask Rosemary? Rosemary's question. <laughs> I know, exactly. She's fine. She's fine. She's been the Rosemary question. <laughs> oh, she's working okay. down here? Yeah. Oh, good. Good. She's back on the I'm glad to You have to move along. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right. Okay. Thank, Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Okay. And we have Craig, right? Is this Craig now? Yes. 
There we go. You're on mute. Can you unmute yourself? Don't be afraid. We don't bite. Yeah. Speak for yourself. Rosemary does. Right, yeah, Rosemary. <laughs> she bites. I felt it. There you go. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. We got you. Sorry about that. Uh, so thank you very much for having me. This Saturday, uh, the Ultimate X Division match is a big step in the evolution of the Knockouts Division on Impact. What do you all see as the next step in evolution for the, the Impact Knockouts Division going forward after this? Gosh, I mean, I, I really feel, and I said this before, I feel like Impact is light years uh, ahead of every other company in terms of the platform that they've put the knockouts on. So it's hard to even think of what we can do next. I mean, there is no ceiling anymore. I'll say that there's absolutely no ceiling. Um, so I think that whatever we want to do personally, um, we can do at this point, you know, whatever Tasha wants to do, whatever Rosemary wants to do. Um, when I win this, this match and I get to wrestle, um, <laughs> <laughs> Nikki so James. I mean, the the you know, no ceiling. The the options are endless, Craig. <laughs> I, like I would like to see us uh, main event more pay per views. That's what I want to see. I want to see more women main eventing pay per views here. I, I haven't seen it in a long time. So if we can main event, if we could do all of this that we can do, we can definitely main event a pay per view. Exactly. Agreed. And I mean, our last question. I, um, I had asked about an all knockout show. Maybe that could be another step as well. Who knows? You know, there's many possibilities. And sometimes we don't even know what the next step is, right? That's might just how I feel. Sometimes I don't even know because really the options and impact are, are endless. And that's a pretty crazy thing to be able to say. Because it hasn't revealed itself yet to us. Yes, I agree with that. Thank you so much. Thank Craig. you so much for having me. Have fun on Saturday. Thanks, Thank Craig. You. Uh, next, we have Nikki. Nikki, are you there? Nikki James? No, not Nikki. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm crashing it. Let's go. It's Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Hey, you guys. Hi, Nikki. Hey, Bo. Sasha. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Hi. Rosemary. Hey, Jill. Um, I just want to say, first and foremost, I'm representing Women's Wrestling Talk as the senior writer and host. You guys show hey. us so much love. Congratulations to Chelsea and the Cordonas. Um, but since I'm in the presence of in that her you, wedding is successful, why don't you? I mean, it was. We posted like two posts. We we oh, finally we, we I had a successful it. wedding. Finally, okay. Finally, and Rosemary, I'm glad you spoke because since I'm in the presence of the demon assassin herself, I want to play devil's advocate. Ooh. Oh, Lord. so going Jesus. into hard to kill for everyone. <laughs> for everyone, if you don't win, what's next? Well, listen, the there are still some tag titles that we need to get revenge back on. <laughs> with that being said, Tasha, title. with that being said, Tasha, are you and Savannah going to go after those tag team titles in the near future? I mean, I wear a lot of mini hats. So uh, if Savannah, she wants to have a knockout tag title, I have all the experience in it. So I have no problem helping her get that. <laughs> oh, get the hell out of the way. Right on. You gotta go for all the gold, girl. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Future belt collector. That's what I want to be. That should be everyone's goal in my in my mind. <laughs> and I'm really hard. I'm really torn between Chelsea and, and Tasha. I really don't know who to pick. I'm I'm really torn. All the between flavor. Them. You have to pick Chelsea, all the flavor. I, I know, Tasha. You I got you first, but but Chelsea, <laughs> I, I've I've fallen in love with you over over the time. Oh. And so I have to guess. And you kind of hinted it a little bit back. Um, you brought up Lady Frost. So I have to ask all of you ladies, beside <laughs> yourself, of course, who's the biggest threat going Rose into Mary. this match? Rose Mary. Period. You can't say yourself, Rose Tasha. It's cheating. <laughs> you can't say yourself, Rose Tasha. It's cheating. Okay. okay. I've, I've, been, listen, I've beaten all of them. So it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I've been in the ring with one of them all. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Tasha Fields. Hey, yeah. So, Tasha What's your Fields, record the against us, Tosh? <laughs> you, you want me to count? Yeah. You want me to count right now? <laughs> We got to move on, guys. Thanks. <laughs> well, I just want to thank you guys so much. And again, congratulations, Chelsea. Thank you guys so much for always showing so much love and support to Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Good luck. I will actually be at Hard to Kill. We have a lot of hey. representation from women's wrestling that will be at Hard to Kill. And we are super pumped. So yes. good luck to all of you guys. And thank you so much. We'll see hey, you there. Hey. Thank love you, Nikki. You.
Next, we have Najir from Big Gold Belt Media. Did I pronounce Hello. your name right? Najir? That is correct. Oh, that is awesome. Correct. How y'all doing? Hello. What's up, y'all? What's, What's up, up, sis? Najir, that's my guy. What up? How are you? Good, good. You my know, guy. I was going to ask that, that biggest threat question, but I kind of want to remix it just a little bit. For the other three ladies that are not able to talk today, uh, could you talk a little bit more? And, and Chelsea, you did kind of touch up on this in, in terms of with uh, Lady Frost, which is a very big wild card to this match. But could you talk about uh, in each in, uh, each one of y'all, talk about one of the three and what you feel their biggest asset to this match will be? Ooh, okay. We might have time for maybe one or two of you guys to answer this. Okay, so I already said about Lady Frost, so you girls can go. Okay, go for it. Rosemary? I, I would, uh, Jordan has a lot of power. You know, being in the ring with Jordan a couple of times, she has a lot of power and uh, she doesn't hold back. So, um, yeah. Jordan's the one you're gonna say to look out for. Yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she said it. She said, <laughs> it. said it. I said it. <laughs> in, in a previous interview, we actually named Tasha and Chelsea as our biggest threats because you knew us better than the other three. You two have been in the ring with us, so you know what to look for. It's the other three that actually, on the flip side, we haven't had much experience with, especially with Lady Frost next to nothing. So those three we don't know very well, so we don't know what to anticipate from them. In, uh, in the reverse situation, they won't know what to anticipate from us either, but we don't like going in with an unknown. So those three, all three of them, Jordan, Rachel, mm. and Lady Frost, uh, are very uh, inexperienced with them. So we're very suspicious and trying to keep track. And it'll be help to have Havoc with us. <laughs> See, I do have to say that Rachel, I have a past with. We came mm -hmm. up together. We've been a couple places. We've been around the block together. So I feel like I know what to expect from Rachel in a regular match however in something like this you know again Rachel is also very strong Rachel was a power lifter she there there's no joking around with her either so I think that she'll surprise a lot of people um in the strength that people don't know she has Okay, well, listen, you give us some tips on her and we'll give you some tips on say, Tasha. I am going to backstage. I'm right here. <laughs> Thank you, Nishir. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Next, we have Sam Smith from Soundsphere. Sam. Uh, hi, guys. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can yeah. hear you. Brilliant. Well, um, also, congratulations, by the way, Chelsea, and, and to Matt as well. Thank um, you so much. Okay, so this is another forbidden door question. I know you like them. So I do. Impact, <laughs> has, <laughs> impact has seemed to really embrace it, you know, since it began with Kenny Omega coming over, winning the title, and you know, a, 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 as a fan and as a reporter, it, it was amazing to see. Um, but what do you guys think or hope will happen in 2022 in relation to the forbidden door, and how do you see it impacting yourselves and your careers? I just have to say, I, as much as I love, I love that we've opened the forbidden door. I think that's amazing, but impact doesn't need to open the forbidden door. Impact has so many talented um, males and females that, that you don't even get to see weekly that, you know, people kind of forget about. And so as much as I, I do love the coming and going, I feel like there's just so many talented people in the locker room um, that we can give that time to. And I, and I don't, I also don't think we need to go anywhere else. It, it's great, but we kind of have it all anyway. I agree. That question has come up in the past and I, I made a reference to the fact that, you know, even our champion or sorry, our former champion, because the question was asked at Deanna a while back and people wanted to see her in Brit. And I said, Deanna hasn't even faced half the girls in our locker room yet. And that's who I want to see first. Right. And then we can move to the forbidden door. Exactly. I mean, what do you guys think? You all agree with that? I Just, agree. Yes. We also yes. find it sort of hilarious how much of a deal the Forbidden Door was being made of when Impact has had working relationships with companies for years and years and years. We've had a partnership with NOAA. We've had a partnership with AAA. Uh, we've had several competitors appear years and years and years. And then just this past year, someone says the Forbidden Door and now it's a big deal. People have always wanted to come Ooh. and work with Impact wrestlers knowing that we are Demon, the best. Demon, and, you and you know what? I do think that people are Teddy forgetting Demon. that Brandy and Cody did this years ago as well, you know, and they weren't even the first, but they came in, they worked with us at impact and they were also doing ring of honor and going to mm -hmm. Japan and things like that. So um, again, the impact is ahead of the curve and we just didn't say it. 
Sephra, we had Mara Fuji here. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I appreciate the no question. Thanks, Sam. Sam. Best, best. Next, we have Justin Clapper from Wrestling Travel. Hey, and I unmuted. All right. I won't ask the Forbidden Door <laughs> question. Um, oh. I, I watched every question just get taken away, but uh, we're out of Manchester in the United Kingdom. So what I'm wondering is now we're in 2022. We've got the return of fans. Um, you guys are in impact where you can travel all over. How forward are you looking? If I, that's even the right way to say that, but how much are you looking forward to being able to come back to the UK and travel? I've never been there, so I'm ready to go. Ugh. Tasha, you've never More been anywhere. <laughs> I was supposed to go, but this was like right before the pandemic hit, no. and I was supposed to go to the UK, and everything got canceled, and I was so bummed out. So now okay, I want to go so, so when, bad. When Tasha gets to go, because we're gonna put we're gonna put this out into the universe, we're gonna tour right. and we're gonna go to the UK. We're gonna go and have well, maybe Tasha won't go with me, but she might go with some. <laughs> other person. But I'll we'll have a big me everywhere. Yeah, we'll have a big English breakfast and we'll see the London Bridge and we'll see Big Ben and it'll be amazing. We'll take you, Chelsea. If you have all the experience, you take me first. Well, I have to can, can we tell a quick story? Yeah, go for it, Rosemary. When we first started at Ben TNA in, in January 2016, our second loop, our second appearance with the company was in England. And we did the very last UK tour of the company. Decay hadn't yet debuted on television. And we walked out in Manchester Arena, walked out and the crowd was singing our theme song back to us. And we hadn't even been on TV yet. That was the biggest chill full body chill we ever got and that was just the start we will do anything to get back to the UK <laughs> I am Here. on board with you girl I I want to tell you guys because some of you like Tasha and Chelsea never got to go on tour on the UK mm -hmm. towards this impact and they were always my favorite of the year mm -hmm. I'm not just saying this I oh we hardly got any sleep you're literally going from city to city with barely any sleep on the buses, but it's the best time. The fans there are so appreciative and we love you there in the UK. If you're watching, we want to get back there and that's where we're all going to ask to mm -hmm. demand to go to there next. Yes. Yeah, please. Please. I want to go. Yes. So thank you so much, Justin. Thank you guys. Good thank luck this weekend. You, ladies. We are going to get our last question now and it is from Lee from perched on the top rope. First and foremost, Chelsea, congratulations on getting married to Mr. Cardona. Thank um, you. I would also like to quickly bring up Chris Sabin actually has the most appearance in the Ultimate X match with 17. He also has hey. the most wins with eight. Ladies, at Hard to Kill, mm -hmm. there have been 44 Ultimate X matches. You will be participating in the 45th. Wow. So out of that, there have been 63 competitors. Out of the 63, over 55% have not won. That's 33 competitors. I'm here with all Rosemary, the we've already, Yeah, <laughs> Rosemary, we've already heard all these different match types that you've been in that give you the upper advantage. Chelsea, Tasha, what matches do you feel are going to give you an advantage in the Ultimate X match at Hard to Kill? And Gail... Why not put yourself in this historic match? Yeah, Gail, come out of retirement. I, well, it's too late now. Um, if I'd known two too months late. ago, maybe it would have been considered. <laughs> Just get a couple of cortisone shots in my back. Yeah, right. <laughs> no big deal. Yes. So I mean, I guess for myself, it's not necessarily the specific matches I've been in um, that have prepared me for this, but more so um, the... Uh, the places that I've had matches, the opponents, you know, I've wrestled in every major company in the world at this point that will accept <laughs> females and me. Um, so I, I, I really truly think that um, I've kind of always been a fighter and, and I've always fought my way to the top and um, I'm going to do that in this match as well. Anybody else have anything to add? Are we good? We'll say, we'll say one thing that um, 40, 45, 45 ultimate X matches, including this one that we're about to do. And still you're going to see new things because females bring something new to whatever we do. Uh, when the female monster ball matches, you will have um, new things happen because girls can come up with different things and we are typically more flexible. So there's, 
new things that we can do that the guys necessarily won't do. So you will see something new and that's going to happen in Ultimate X as well because our creativity, our drive and knowing that we have an awful lot to live up to, you're going to see mm -hmm. creativity come out here, new creative ways to inflict pain upon each other and new creative ways to get that win and stand out. Tasha, you got a last word to say? This is our last question. Um, yeah, I mean, just stay tuned. I don't want to give everything away. You know, <laughs> if I give it all away, then how are you going to watch? So we'll just just say all the girls are ready for this. Tune in Saturday. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's ready. We're, we're, we're absolutely ready. ready. We were ready years ago and now that our time has come. Great. Great thought there. Thank you so much, Lee. Thank you to everyone, our Facebook friends, all the media outlets. If we didn't get to you today, we're sorry. And definitely we'll get you on the next press pass. I just want to remind everyone also after Hard to Kill, because we are technically sold out, but there is standing room only available. So if you can get in there, you'll be very lucky because I'm great. I think it's going to be a wonderful show. And the next day we do still have limited tickets available for our TV taping in Dallas. And just a reminder, for those who are holding the titanium ticket uh, for the VIP at Hard to Kill, stick around for the end of the show because you will, uh, don't forget, you're going to get a ringside photo with the commemorative historic X that if is- If we give it back. Yeah. yeah, but you got to give it back <laughs> to you. the winner it. gives it back. So we thank you all um, and we'll see you at Hard to Kill. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.